The anti-war initiative Perdana Global Peace Foundation has a single goal of putting an end to war. Founded by Malaysia's former Prime Minister, Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, the foundation encourages dialogues between different nations, people and organizations to foster love and global peace. Its sister foundation, the Kuala Lumpur Foundation to Criminalize War, aims to undertake all necessary measures to criminalize war and energize peace. It also found former US President George Bush and former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, among others, guilty of war crimes. Speaking to reporters at the Perdana Global Peace Foundation's One Day International Conference titled The New World Order, Recipe for War or Peace, Dr. Mahate warned that Malaysia might lose its independence if the government falls prey to the ploys of the US to increase its global hegemony through economic means. We will lose our freedom. We'll have to always uh, consult them or submit to them or take their orders from them. Then we have lost. We fought for independence, Merdeka. Now we are going to lose our independence. These people are planning that. And if you don't do it, they threaten to cut off trade from you. They threaten to uh, support people who will overthrow the government, give them money, instigate, uh, give publicity, pro propaganda for them to overthrow any government that we, we have. Because they want a government that will say yes to them all the time. The New World Order refers to the emergence of a totalitarian world government. Other prominent speakers at the conference also said that a secretive power elite led by the United States wants to replace sovereign nation states through regime change. But Dr. Thomas Barnett, who had served extensively in the U.S. national services, refuted these arguments as mere allegations. When we talk about American hegemony, uh, you know, I like to point out that we don't have any colonies, that we tend to rebuild countries that we defeat militarily. Uh, and the biggest problem we have right now is that we've grown tired of that role and the countries that should be rising and taking more of that role, China, India, ASEAN, refuse to do so. And instead, they blame the United States for continuing to take the role that they don't step up and assume. The oil that comes out of the Middle East does not go to the United States. It goes overwhelmingly to East Asia. Iran's biggest importers, India, China, South Korea, Japan, Iraq's biggest oil importers, India, China, South Korea, Japan, uh, um, uh, Saudi Arabia's biggest importers, China, India, South Korea, Japan. And yet it's uh, Americans who go and fight and die in order to keep that uh, economic lifeline going. He also says that the anger and hatred towards the U.S. is largely because people prefer to believe in conspiracy theories.